Well, it is a beautiful day for the Lord to come again, as my uncle would always say. And I'm singing out for the Lord is here or near. Uh, the Lord is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. The Lord my is here and he is yes. good. Yes. And um, lift, lift him up. His name be lifted higher. Oh, my God. I went way back. I'm talking about the one and only who gave us these beautiful songs and so many more. Um, Anointing Fall On Me was my theme song for years. Um, yeah. for one of my programs, yes. None other than Dr. Ron Kinoli. How are you? Uh, I am highly favored and blessed. Amen. Uh, well, I, how does it say it? Blessed and highly favored. That's There you I'm. go. <laughs> blessed and highly favored. Well, yeah. either way, however you say it, you are blessed. And so I'm I'm so happy to be able to talk with you as we get ready to embrace the promise. But just before, after all of these beautiful songs that you've given us, you gave us some songs with your with your sons as well. And over the years, you've been um, a, a symbol of what it is to be a praise and worship person, who all Christians should be, yeah. and also a praise and worship leader. Mm -hmm. um, but of late. Well, I haven't heard, I personally have not heard music from Dr. Ron Kinoli, but I know that Dr. Ron Kinoli is still doing music. So what have you been up to lately? Uh, what have I been up to lately? Well, I am, I, I received my second doctorate degree uh, in religious studies. I have a degree, a doctor, doctorate degree. Yeah. And uh, ministry and sacred music, one in sacred music. And now I have another one in religious studies. And wow. so I'm on staff at the uh, Kingdom okay. uh, Kingdom Life University in Tampa, Florida. I'm one of the professors there at the college there. And also I'm also a uh, on staff at uh, Christian Life School of Theology. Wow. in uh, Georgia, in uh, uh, Augusta, Georgia. And so that's kind of what I've been up to. And I don't get me wrong now. I still travel. I still sing. Uh, but I do as much teaching now as I do singing. I've written five books on praise and worship. Uh, uh, and I just recently, uh, this year, earlier this year, I received the United States Presidential Award. Uh, yeah, the Presidential Gold Volunteer Service Award. Wow. For the service that I have uh, uh, ministered all over the world, 121 different nations around the world. My music is marketed in 144 nations. And, uh, uh, and I'm just excited about what the Father is doing and has done in my life. He's allowing me to impart uh, impart to a whole lot of uh, young people who are in music ministry and helping mm -hmm. them to understand that praise and worship is more than just a good idea. Yes. It is a command by King David. And when a king gives, a, when your king speaks, he doesn't give suggestions or good ideas. It's a command. He gives commands. <laughs> and in Psalms 150, verse 6, he says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. You so, should write a song about that. You know, let everything uh, that <laughs> I have, I have one. <laughs> it's on my, it's on the Lift Him Up album. It yes. says, let everything that let has breath praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's I have one. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. I'll do. I'll do another one just for you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do remember that uh, absolutely beautiful yeah. um, album. As a matter of fact, um, I remember years ago too. I attended a worship conference that you had. I think in Orlando. Yes, I think it was sometime. Over there. Oh my goodness! Yes. <laughs> so yeah. I do believe in your ministry, sir. Um, as you continue to lead the world to worship. I like that. And amen. And set apart is your name, Yahweh. Could you talk about Yahuwah. that? Yahuwah. Yahuwah. That's right. Yahuwah. In my studies, um, uh, while working on my second doctorate degree, uh, I 
discovered in Psalm 68, verse 4, mm -hmm. and Isaiah, and Isaiah, and several places in Isaiah, where the scripture calls our Heavenly Father's name Yah. Ah. And I wrote a book about it. See, yeah. because, because we say, well, let me let me just say it like this. And I'm going to try not to do a whole teaching. Okay? <laughs> I'll call you back for that other interview. Okay. But now we say all the time, we say God, Lord, Heavenly Father, all those are titles. Right. Oh, okay. And we have been we have been told, okay, that our heavenly name is uh Jehovah. Yes. And but that's a translation. Mm. Okay. Actually, it's a transliteration. And then we have been told that his name is Yahweh. Okay. That is if I get if I go in depth about that, that would scare you. So I won't Ooh. go in depth about that. But the ancient Paleo Hebrew name of our Heavenly Father. Yes. The name Yahuwah. And wow. it has a meaning. This is the same word in Exodus chapter 3 when Moses went up on Mount Sinai and he saw the burning bush. And I'm going to paraphrase because he saw the burning bush and uh, the father spoke to him through the burning bush. He had the conversation. God told him to go down into Egypt and tell Pharaoh, let the people go. Yes. Okay. You remember that, right? Oh, yes. right? <laughs> oh, okay. Now, Moses said, Moses, he understands that he just can't say, I heard a voice come out of the sky and told me to tell you to let the people go. Or the people so, think he kind of crazy. That's, that's right. <laughs> so Moses says, Moses says, whom shall I say sent me? Okay, wow. see, he understands that an authority greater mm -hmm. than the Pharaoh is giving the Pharaoh a command. Yes. And that and when the God answered him, he said, I am. All mm. right. Now, that's not wrong. And we've been told, I am that I am. That's not wrong, but it's not the full rendering of his name. Mm -hmm. The full rendering of his name is I am self-existing. Mm. So in other words, he is the self-existing one. Okay. He had no beginning. He had no end. Okay. Okay. He created time and put us in it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> okay. okay. So he's the self-existing one. And that's what that word means. Yahuwah. Yeah. Yeah. Now we, okay. Now my name is Ronald and you know me as Ron because Ron is my short name. Ah. Uh, Heavenly Father, his name. My dad's name is Ronald too. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what that name means? Tell me. Okay, it has two meanings. In English, the word Ronald means advisor to the king. Wow. In Hebrew, the word Ron means music, joy, and song. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm writing it down because I'm going to tell my dad. <laughs> Better let him know what his name means. Yes. <laughs> now let's get back. Let's get back. Okay. Okay, so that name, Yahuwah, is the, it has a meaning. Every Hebrew name has a meaning, every single one of them, mm -hmm. okay? They don't just toss up syllables. Oh, no, not at all. They don't every waste it, yeah. Every name has a, a specific a meaning. meaning. Mm -hmm. And his name is Yahuwah. That means the self-existing one. Mm -hmm. Now, as I was saying, uh, I go by my short name, Ron. Well, right. I have your father has a short name as well. Yes. And that short name is Yah. Uh, Say that. Say Yah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, in the ancient Hebrew, they say the word for praise is hallelujah. Right. Ah. So when you say hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah. Ah. Was saying praise, praise to Yahuwah. Wow, wow. 
<laughs> Hallelujah. We, that we, is his name. We never meant to have a class, but you've just been schooled. I've just been schooled. That's beautiful, <laughs> Dr. Ron, Dr. Ronald Kilo. You know and for anybody that wants to question me, go to Isaiah 68, verse 4. Hold on there, sir. Let me go too fast. Hold on there, Isaiah. <laughs> and it says, sing to him who rides upon the clouds. Sing to him by his name, Yah. 68, verse 4. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. And, and in some translations. Bible, just, just a little clarity here. In some other Bibles, it's going to say Ja, J-A-H. Ja. Right. And the okay. Rastas would be happy. But but now the letter J, the letter J is not even in the Hebrew language. So it's pronounced with a um, Ya. A Y. A Y. A -Y. A -Y. Hallelujah. Ja. Wow. Okay. Now every, every one of, the, almost every one of the prophets in the Bible they they had their name they their name was connected to the father mm -hmm. Jeremiah yeah yeah Obadiah yeah yeah uh, the... yeah listen yeah yeah all right now listen yeah <laughs> <laughs> I want, this is this is going deep and if we if we don't mind we may end up not talking about embrace the promise i'm embracing what you're sharing um right now and in a few days is it what date is it now 19 so it's about two weeks mm -hmm. or a little less you'll be here in jamaica for embrace no you'll be here right yeah so <laughs> <laughs> yes ma'am um that's our jamaican yes yeah, so you know here um <laughs> but you'll be here for embrace the promise yes it's been a minute since you've been here i was trying to remember when was the last time i remember seeing you some time ago and you were talking about your wife who's from africa yes uh-huh um, she is from nairobi kenya right um but i couldn't remember if i saw you here or if it was overseas it was in 2014 uh you were here that, that's the last time I've been to Jamaica. You're to overdue. Come... You're visiting us, sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm overdue. <laughs> so we're looking forward to you. What are you looking forward to most for, for this um, time? Embrace the promise. Well, I'm telling you, it's going to be uh, a powerful and a very energetic meeting. Yeah. Uh, there are many, many... Uh, uh, music ministers on the program. I imagine some of them were will be uh, 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 rappers and some of them singers did, yeah. and yeah, and a variety of different ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I know that um, uh, Brother Nelson is going to be on the program as well. Dr. KJ. Yeah, and Dr. Yes. KJ is on the program. And so mm -hmm. uh, that's what everybody should expect. Everybody should expect the manifestation of a heavenly father in that place, in those places, because that is always our goal. That is the purpose, you know, for our praise and our worship is to create an environment for our heavenly father yes. to manifest his presence. And that is the goal. That is the purpose. That's why we exist to mm -hmm. praise him. Mm -hmm. Okay. And to Indeed. carry his name to the ends of the earth. Amen. Um, You know, Jamaicans love the, the old time music. I know you've done, um, I remember the last time I think you came, you did songs from, was it Fill the Earth? Um, uh -huh. Right. And so I am making a request that you do songs from the Lift Him Up album and sing yeah. out <laughs> uh. <laughs> as well. But um, we, we love you, Dr. Ron Kinoli, and we appreciate you. As I told you, for years, um, uh, no, could you sing it? <clears throat> Anointing fall on me. Could Anointing you? Anointing fall on me. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually, I'm actually singing that tonight i have an event tonight with the brazilian church here in orlando mm -hmm. and uh 
Yes, that is. That's an old, old song, but it never relevant. gets old. There you go. Still relevant today. It's an old song that never gets old, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah. And of course, I can't come to Jamaica without saying, it is a fun to see, a fun to see. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lester Lewis. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Thank you for doing that, um, Dr. Ron Canoli. Thank you for doing that and putting our music on the map. Not on the map, on the continent. <laughs> on, the, on the on the on the globe. I sing yeah. that song all over the world. Yeah, it's a it's a highly requested song. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dr. Ron Kinoli, a part of the lineup for "Embrace the Promise" that's coming up October, Saturday, October twenty nine, and Sunday, October thirty. Um, twenty on uh, Saturday at Manning's High School in Westmoreland, and Sunday at Ronnie Williams Entertainment Center right here in Kingston. Would you just say? People come out, you know, say something, you know, just encourage them to come out, please. Yes. All of my brothers and my sisters there in Jamaica, not just in Kingston and Westmoreland, or, uh, but all over the, all over the island. If you can come to this event, the either one of these events, or maybe both of them, if you can come to these events, uh, I'm going to step out and say our promise you that you will not be disappointed. Hallelujah. I go where the Lord calls me to go. With every invitation that I get, I pray about it. And I only want to be where God is doing something. Yes. And I believe that wherever I am, he's going to do something. He's going to do something special. This I have been, this is my 43rd year in ministry. And so it's not by accident that I am still alive and still doing what he has called me to do and with health and strength and in my right mind. And I know that he's going to, I know that he is going to be a blessing. The event is going to be a blessing. The reason why it's going to be a blessing is because we are gathering together to bless him and Amen. God will not allow anybody to bless him. So the more praises we give him, the more blessings he puts upon us. So you come on out and 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 stop whatever you're going to do and show up at that event, at those events. I, I, I love you. I will see you there. All Thank right. You. Thank you so much. Dr. Ron Kinoli sharing with us um, today. It's been a beautiful time. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Listen, Nadine, I love you. God bless love you. You too. Bye-bye. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.